from defending BYU? Because naturally you think, is it three-point shooting or is it what Josh Lannon just said, and that is controlling Yoli Childs? Yoli Childs is certainly uh, someone to be controlled in this game. Uh, Yoli Childs, you could argue, is the best player in this game. You could argue Sam Merrill. Uh, Namias Keta is a question mark, right? Because he's coming back from injury. Missed nine games like Yoli Childs. Different reason, injured. Um, and Sam Merrill didn't play Tuesday. Uh, perhaps load management. Kawhi Leonard has put that in the basketball vernacular for all of us. But, uh, yeah, the matchup is very intriguing. Some great players in this game. All right, we've got Utah State head coach Craig Smith on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline. Coach, welcome and happy holidays. Hey, what's up, fellas? Thanks for having me. Happy hey. holidays guys as well you betcha I, there's probably no way you remember this but i met you for the first time in person last year uh in the bowels of vivint smart home arena and i was wearing a roger federer nike jacket and not many people know that but you pointed out the symbol and you said nice jacket so i ultimately respected you in that <laughs> moment because you're a tennis fan coach <laughs> hey man i love all sports so uh you, you love greatness right whether it's um Roger Federer and tennis or whatever golfer you want to name or um, not that I'm a huge hockey guy, but any kind of any sport where it's a championship or a high limb, you know, a high level of competition. How do you not just get all in? It's so enjoyable to watch and just that spirit and that fight and that vigor and all the emotion that goes with it. It's hard not to pay attention um, to all sports when it comes to that point. Love it. And it's hard not to pay attention to the 10-1 and record that your Utah State Aggies have right now. How would you assess the overall season through 11 games? Well, I mean, to be 10-1 and is always a, a good thing. Um, you know, we've um, we played pretty well. we got a lot of different things going on. You know, with, uh, I heard just a little bit of what you had said with Kata missing nine games. And so, obviously, you know, he was an all-league guy last year and the defensive player of the year in the Mountain West Conference. And uh, has a very good chance of being an NBA player. And so when you take him out of the lineup and then you add in the fact of um, not only because he's a very, very good player, but then you add in, you know, we only have five returners. Now those five returners um, really played a lot of minutes and it was a huge part of our production last year. So, But we're trying to get essentially nine new guys kind of in the flux, so to speak. And so – there's always going to be some up and downs and you're negotiating injuries and sickness and so on and so forth, but it is what it is. So to be 10 and one right now, um, we're excited about it and hopefully we can keep pushing forward. BYU without Yoli Childs had to develop Colby Lee. Was this a similar situation without uh, Keta with Justin Bean, who's become the number one uh, total rebounder in the NCAA and number one in double doubles? Well, that's part of it. And, and Justin, you know, um, at this point last year, um, was hardly playing. We, were, we had 11 guys on our roster, and his minutes were very, very hit and miss. And quite frankly, he was number 11 out of 11. And uh, just the improvement that young man has made over the course of, I don't know, I've been on the job 18 months. I've never seen anything like it. Mm. And it's just a testament to him, how hard he works, his dedication to his craft. Uh, dude is in the gym all the time. And obviously he's got some natural talent you know uh he's a quick j jumper knows how to play all those kind of attributes so uh and he's super hungry and we have a mantra in our program uh it's an acronym gata g-a-t-a and it stands for get after their butts and we'll leave it at that but it, it, thanks for that BYU and, TV edit uh, coach yeah, yeah exactly i mean you know I'm, I'm looking out for the viewers and so um but he he personifies that um, to a T and so but at the end of the day towards the end of last year the last six weeks or so last year I would say he was a big reason we won 17 of our last 19 games and in one of the in that and one of those two losses was in the NCAA tournament his minutes really went up about the last six weeks and even in the in the uh, Mountain West Conference title game against San Diego State he was on the floor uh, at the end of the game so we knew and we expected him to have a big year, and certainly he hasn't disappointed. Utah State head basketball coach Craig Smith with us on BYU Sports Nation. We've talked a little bit about Namiya Keta. How close is he to being 100% himself and fully integrated back into his usual rotation? Well, look, you know, I wish I had an exact answer for that. You know, uh, um, he obviously got cleared 
uh, uh, well, the day of the Fresno game, so last Saturday, so six days ago. Um, it's going to take him a while to get to where he was last year. Um, just, you know, the way he set for, for a legitimate um, 6'11 to 7 foot, with shoes on at the NBA Combine last year, he was measured at 7 foot. Um, his fluidity is just incredible. The way he can slide defensively, the way he gets off the floor and blocks shots and certainly affects shots um, is pretty incredible, and obviously his rebounding ability. And so when you have a knee injury and that sort of thing, like it takes time to get that, you know, all the way back. And, you know, he's also, at the end of last year, he was like 218 to 220 pounds, and now he's up to – depending on the day, 245 to 250. So he's put on some very good weight, which is what he needed to do um, to help his game. But with that, you have more weight. It takes even maybe a little bit more time, right? Because you got to get your leg back to um, the same strength as your other leg. So uh, he's a day-by-day. Uh, he, we're working with him day-by-day day just to see where he's at, measuring his measurables, so to speak. And so um, – but we're excited to see him on the floor. He certainly makes a positive uh, impact for us on both ends of the floor. And uh, when he'll be back like to where he was last year, that's just hard to say at this point. BYU comes into the game 8-4, and four, fourth game with Yoli Childs back from the NCAA suspension. What sticks out about BYU so far to you, Coach? Well, they're really, really good. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're a very, very good basketball team. They're very well coached. Uh, they're when you when you look at their team. I mean, obviously they have four guys that are averaging, averaging double digits or more, and a fifth one is right there. I think at eight point nine points, and they're playing eight guys nineteen or more minutes a game. Uh, so they have it all, though. And not only do they have it all, it, they they also have all the parts really fit each other. Um, they all you know each guy complements one one another in such a a great way and. It's not very often in college basketball that you get an opportunity to coach three guys that have scored over a thousand points in their college career. And so Yoli Childs is obviously an, an, an incredibly impressive basketball player. There's not much that that guy cannot do on the floor. He's an excellent passer. He can shoot the three. He's a, he's a bulldog in the post. He can score every which way on the block. He's a good free throw shooter. And so, and he's he's got a high high IQ. Um, certainly, Haas is a, a thousand point scorer. I don't. I think he's top five in the history of BYU in assists. And and he started every game in his career. And I can go right down the line. Jake Toulson <laughs> is the quote unquote new guy, but whack player of the year. And he's a guy that played for Coach Pope for <laughs> for all four of his years. So he knows that system inside out and backwards. And 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 then the Arizona transfers. Uh, it's found new life, so to speak, and and Nixon looks like a whole nother player from last year, and so they're very, very good. They're an excellent passing team. Um, obviously, they're, it's incredible how well they're shooting it, especially since Childs has been back, so um, so there's been a few sleepless nights last few nights, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you uh, a pleasant... If my, if my eyes are a lot blacker than normal, and that's saying something, <laughs> you know why. <laughs> okay, I'll look for that tomorrow. There's, make, there's makeup for that, Coach. We know. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah no, my wife keeps telling me, Craig, did you put the lotion on? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let me do it. No, I don't need it. I want to look like, like I'm a... Uh, Came out of a 15 round fight or something. <laughs> the other guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Coach, great to talk to you. Look forward to a fantastic matchup tomorrow in Salt Lake City. Thanks for your time. Hey, thank you guys. Have a great holiday season. All right, you too. Craig Smith on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how. You Ex see why he's so likable. Extremely likable. Yes. The anti Stu Moral. <laughs> <laughs>